Oh, yeah. Yes, I've fallen a little behind on my grading. <clears throat> That's not all you've fallen behind on, Mr. LaForce. Now I have to work late. Hoagie, oh, be reasonable. It's only been a day. Even the bank offers a grace period. You didn't go to a bank. A bank wouldn't have given you a dime. I know that. I didn't mean to sound ungrateful. It's just... Well, I need a little more time. I don't lend time, Mr. LaForce. And you're in breach of contract. still alive? Just barely. No, two months ago, another teacher at Riverside was found in the same condition, tossed in a dumpster. And in between, two students were beaten. Now, somebody must be doing a good job because they're all afraid to talk. Yeah, well, one kid's mother told us that her son was into somebody's pocket for five yards. You think it's a connection? Maybe. You know the name Tony Delaplante? Yeah. He owns a streak of dry cleaning stores, uh, sponsors Little League. The guy's a regular war cleaver. Except for a loan sharking operation he runs on the side. Excuse me, Captain. Espo just called in sick. You want me to make the buy a loan? No, let's hold off. What's wrong with him? Food poisoning. I kept telling him, don't eat at Rocket Dog. <laughs> so you think Della Plant's moving into high schools or what? Della Plant's son, Hogarth, attends Riverside. I'm just guessing he hasn't taken to the dry cleaning side of the family business. Well, has he been questioned? Yeah, informally, along with some other students. Came through without a scratch. Look, Aoki, okay, you're going to be working the forces in, all right? I want you to check out his finances, see if he owed any money around town, etc. You're going after Hogarth. Get close to him. Make him think you're strapped for cash. That shouldn't be too difficult. From what I hear, this kid is straight A's. Top of the class, handsome. Real bright. So he's going to be able to smell a bad setup from a mile away. I got the transcripts in my office. And Hanson, make sure you go along with whatever's gonna sell you as a smart kid to this guy. Sure, of course. Yes, yeah, sure, of course, nothing. Penhall dropped calculus at the last school. It almost blew the case. Oh, God, no wonder this kid turned to crime, okay? Hey, has anybody seen Penhall? Yeah, he had a late bus last night, and Captain Fuller getting the morning off to recover. Okay, now, come on, move it, monkeys, move it! Yeah, I want to make a collect call to Sydney, Australia from Doug. Get off my phone! Forget it, tell him I'm hey, calling hey, back hey, later. Hey. All right, touch your nose, like this. All right, give me your keys. Keep moving, keep moving. Give me your keys. All right. Tell you, man. Get him over, right? Okay, thanks for coming by. You got any empties? Okay. Hey, you hey. cowboy. Who are you? With her. Who's she? Uh, I 
gotta settle down. Doing you, Douglas. Oh, no, I was, I was just, um, come in, come in. Yeah, I was just, uh, cleaning up a bit. Hey, uh, Hannah, what's the word? You, you taking your mom out for a little walk? Hey, what, you want something to drink or something? Actually, Douglas, I've called to ask you a tremendous favor. Oh, sure, anything. Is everything okay? Oh, no, it's nothing like that. They rescheduled my flight and I've no one to leave Hannah with. And you've no one to leave Hannah with. You've always seemed so fond of her. What? I, what? I am. I am. It's just... No, no, it's all right, Douglas. You're a dear chap, and I've put you in a really awful spot. It's just, well, I've missed so much work since the separation. You, Dick is... You and Dick are... Roger, yes, just recently. He's always taken care of Hannah. He, he paints at home, you see. That's too bad, huh? I'm sorry. I know you are. Well, my mom's been good enough to take care of her until I can find someone steady, but I just haven't had the time, and I just... Let me ask you something. How long is this plane flight going to take? It's just a short hop. I'd be back before noon. What can happen before noon? <gasps> Douglas, I owe you a really big one for this. Are you free for dinner tonight? Oh, yeah, I'm extremely free. Good, I'll make it up to you then, OK? I'll go and get Hannah's things. Get used to this face, kid. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. The dark in the room, the sun sets alone. I was thinking my feet are stuck. And then a sad stranger said it was a lone ranger. Now I just rise the stool at this point. I think we've met. Hi, I'm Tom Whalen. I just transferred in. Oh, well, welcome to Riverside. I'm Hoagie Delacroix. This guy running for president with the same name. Yeah? He's a heck of a guy, too. He got my vote. All right, class, now settle down. There's plenty of time for horseplay between periods. We've got a lot of work to cover this morning, so, Mr. Miller, why don't you get today's comment out of the way? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Osket. All right, settle down. There's plenty of time for horseplay between periods. We've got a lot of work to cover this morning. So, Mr. Miller, why don't we get today's comments out of the way? <laughs> yes, sir. Um, I'd like to save today's comments for tomorrow, if that's okay with you. Fine. Let's move on, then. Where is Mr. Thomas Whalen, please? Right here. It's a pleasure to welcome a young man with your fine record to Riverside, Thomas. Well, thank you, sir. I realize you haven't had much time to assimilate yet, but I'd kick myself if I didn't try to recruit you for the Scholastic Bowl. Oh. Wow. What's the Scholastic Bowl? Oh, it's sort of like an academic game show. All the schools in the state are involved. Well, can you, like, win money or something? First prize is a set of encyclopedia. <laughs> wow. I don't think I can make that one, Mr. Hoskett. I wish you'd consider it. I'm sure Mr. Delaplante and Miss Monroe would use your help on the panel. Oh, yeah. Somebody's got to make us look good. I'd rather study calculus. Hey, 
How about some lunch later? Maybe you can give me tips on how to hit the buzzer faster. I like to sit on thumbtacks. It helps keep me on edge. Uh, I'd have to help out of my dad's store during lunch. Maybe we can talk later. Yeah, sure. Hey, amusing performance today, Davey. Yeah, well, show business is my life. Come on, man. I got to the end of the week. $2,000 is a lot of money, Davey. I'm just a little worried about how you're going to pay it back. I'll have it. Sure you will. Hey, I still got your vote, right? Yeah, right. Julie! Penhall, what are you still doing home? And why didn't you answer your phone? <gasps> what phone? I didn't hear no phone. I've been calling you for over an hour. The phone's been looking under desk for you, boy. You better get moving. Oh, yeah? And what about the baby? Should I just leave her here to raise herself? That would be pretty irresponsible, don't you think? That baby? I know. Can you believe it? You'd think she'd be toilet trained by now. Oh, oh. Not what I meant. <laughs> Doug, shouldn't you be using diapers for that? Well, I was the last one. So you're using t-shirts? Julie, don't go back soon. I'll be down to formal wear. Ju Julie? Yeah, my neighbor, Julie Bradley. Oh, well, now I get it. The hot-looking stewardess. I thought she was married to that guy, Dick. Roger. No, they separated. It's about time, too. Those two got along perfectly. So, so this is all about moving in on her mother, right? Hey, what, you, what you say in front of the kid? Give me a... I'm just doing Julie a little favor. Oh, please, Penhall, you're doing yourself a favor. Don't listen to her. She's a mean, vindictive lady. Get the car seat, will you? You can give us a lift into town. You're gonna pick a baby into the chapel? Hey, I'm a working mother. We should pick up some t-shirts on the way. Yeah, you're looking okay this month, Dad, but do me a favor, will you? Right. Did you break down and get a calculator? <laughs> get a calculator? What do I need a calculator for? I like to watch you use your head. <laughs> Ogie, Ogie, did I tell you that I was proud of you yet today, huh? Yeah, this morning. <laughs> look, look, Dad, I know you don't like to talk about this, but I, I could be a lot bigger help around here if I wasn't just doing the laundry books. I don't want you to mention that. You understand me? How are you set for that scholastic ball? I want to talk about the business. I think it... I don't want you to think about anything but getting good grades and getting into college. I don't want you screwing up like I did. You didn't screw I up? I did screw up. Get over here. I want you to turn out to be something decent. You understand? And I want you to promise me one more thing. Don't talk the business to me any anymore. You understand me? All right. All right. Now... You, uh, you're still going to be that uh, school president, aren't you? What do you think? All right, now, see, that's the kind of talk that makes me proud. We understand each other, don't we, Helgi? Yeah, then. Okay. Now, go on. Go bring home them books, them... Um, encyclopedias. Encyclopedias. I want you to bring them encyclopedias home. Shakespeare's Macbeth was set in what country? Riverside. Scotland. Correct for 10 points. Still in literature. Name the author of Sons and Lovers. Jefferson. D.H. Lawrence. Correct for 10 points. And Jefferson maintains that 30 point Why are we lead. sitting through this? That concludes the category. Because it gets us out of sitting chemistry. U.S. law, please. U.S. law. The first question. What was the landmark civil rights case decided in 1954? Riverside. Brown versus the Board of Education of Topeka, Kansas. Correct for 10 points. What Supreme Court decision resulted in the mandatory reading of rights to suspects? Two to one, he gets it wrong. The Miranda decision, Miranda versus Arizona. Correct for another 10 points. This trial in 1925 concerned the teaching of Darwinism in public schools. Riverside again. The Scopes Monkey Trial. Correct for 10 points, and we've got a tie game. All right, new kid. Don, what if I bet you 100 bucks that some guy named Tom Whalen was going to beat out Delaplante for student council president? 
I'd have a hundred extra bucks in my pocket. So you think I'd get a lot of takers for that bet, right? Absolutely. Who's Tom Whalen? We've come right down to the wire. The score tied. Final question in this category for 10 points. In what state was Supreme Court Justice William Rehnquist accused of harassment and racism? Riverside. Arizona. Correct for 10 points. And that's all the time we have. And it's Riverside that advances to round two. Congratulations, Tom Whalen. Heck of a showing, son. Welcome aboard. How do you know so much about the law? I study. Hey, 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 buddy. We're slow for that hundred bucks, right? Never happened. All I gotta do is get him to run. All performed admirably. The school is very proud. Yeah, how about this guy? First day in school and he pulls out the game for us. Ah, uh, look. Oh, in this kind of competition, some say that's more important than skill. Will there be anything else for you today? No, I think that'll do it. Great. How much do I owe? Uh, this one's on me. That's very generous of you, Thomas. It's only money, right? I knew I liked something about this guy. If we win tomorrow's round, I'll pick it up. Round two? And we got to do this again? Telephone call for Mr. Thomas Whalen. Excuse me for a second. Hello? Tom, hi. Davey Miller here. Turn around. What are you doing? Look, I need to talk to you, man. I just couldn't do it in front of Delaplan. I got a deal for you. I want you to run for student council president. Student council president? Tom Whalen. Student council president. <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Sure it does. You're a natural. Why? My school spirit finally kicked in. And personally, I just think you're the best man for the job. Forget about it. So you'll think about it, right? No. Everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. Mr. Whalen, I'm sorry, but we couldn't clear your credit card. Are you kidding? Well, the machine said you're over your limit. I'm sorry. No, probably some computer error. I'll pick this one up. Don't let it bother you too much, Tom. If we win round two of Scholastic Bowl, you'll be a celebrity. Probably get meals like this on the house. Not many, judging from the size of the audience. What didn't I tell you? The winner of round two advances to the finals. On television. Then everyone will know your face. Television? What, are you crazy? There is nothing to worry about, Captain. No way we're gonna make the final. This is a dumb move, Hanson. Hey, you're the one who told me to do whatever it takes to be a uh, smart guy, right? You are not going on television. You would blow your cover in every high school in town. Thank God. Yeah, Captain. I've got the dirt on Marty LaForce's finances. You were right. He was in bad shape. All his credit cards were maxed, collection agencies were after him, and the bank was about to foreclose on his house. Until $10,000 was placed into his account a week ago. 10000 That's a little steep for a junior loan shark, don't you think? Maybe, uh, the old dad is in on this after all, huh? Well, somebody pushed the button to beat up Hoagie's teacher. Could be we're looking at both of them, gentlemen. Come on, Jude. How about the food and everything? I'm starting to think you don't even like her. Look at Pen. I'm just not that hot on babies, okay? Why not? I mean, you're a woman, aren't you? Uh, what does that have to do with it? Well, uh, maternal instincts, hormones, genes, take your pick. The biological facts are you're better qualified to take care of her than I am. Please. Hey, Pee Wee Herman is more qualified than you. Hey, that's the blowfish I was telling you about. Will you do the blowfish for her? For this kid? You get it. Here it comes. Get ready. <laughs> Is that the greatest bullfish you ever saw? Pinhole. Why don't you ask Fuller to help? Uh, Come on. Have you finished that arrest report yet? I was, I was just getting on it, sir. Uh huh. You told me that a half hour ago. Same time that you told me that this baby. would be back with her mother any minute. 
Well, uh, she's probably stuck in traffic or something, you know? Hello, pick up line two. Oh, that's probably mommy now. Hello? Douglas, I'm sorry. We had trouble with the landing gear. We were circling for hours. I'm still in San Francisco. I should be back in a few hours. I promise we'll make it up to you tonight, okay? Uh, hey, well, I'm uh, happy to hear that. You'll make it up to me. <laughs> no problem. Uh, okay. Okay, great. All right, see you in a couple minutes. Yeah, I was, uh, I was right. She was stuck in traffic. So where is she really? When little cable cars climb halfway to the stars. I mean, you must be pretty serious about this girl. She's the one for me, Jude. I mean, she's got a great body and a great a accent. And I'm even starting to like the kid, too. Obviously, you're clear on what makes a relationship work. Hey, I'm telling you, Jude, I feel a major development coming on here. I must say, I'm very impressed, Douglas. I guess I've always been a natural with kids. Shall we, um, talk? Nothing wrong with a little conversation. This 11 o'clock flight to Omaha, they say I'll forfeit my spot on the route. So what's so good about Omaha? It's a, it's a north-south. It means I'd be home every night. I've been on that wait list for two years. You know, you've got great carpets in here. Douglas, could you help me out just this last time? I don't know, Julie. I mean, if I take Hannah to work again... I'll be back before work, I promise. But my captain... Pacific Ocean? Pacific Ocean is correct for 10 points. Continuing with geography, what country has 11 time zones? Riverside. China. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Central. It's the Soviet Union. This country is the United States' largest trading partner. Side. Canada. That is correct for 10 points. And that does it for round two, and it's Central High that heads to the championships. Congratulations. I go to a school full of idiots! Oh, hey guys, come on, we put up a good fight, right? Oh, 
What's that all about? Please. Oh, oh, can I have your attention, please? People, I have a very stirring announcement to make. Thank you. For 20 years, Riverside High School has longed for the day that it would advance past the first round of the great Scholastic Bowl competition. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to be the one to tell you that our prayers were answered by this person, Tom Whalen. What's he doing? I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but I think that this young man deserves our thanks. Yeah. Yeah. As I stand here now, I realize that your thanks is not enough. Clearly, he has come to Riverside for much higher purposes. And what better way to repay him? What better way to turn this whole school around than to elect Tom Whalen as Riverside High's next senior class president? Your attention, please. I have an announcement to make. It has come to our attention that the team from Central High School had prior access to the answers to today's competition. Hence, they have been disqualified. Therefore, the team from Riverside now advances to the championship finals live on television. All right, this is so exciting. We're gonna be on television. Uh, yeah. What do you think you're doing? Nothing wrong with a little competition, though, is there hope? The election's in two days. Where is isn't going to win anything. You want to make a bet on that? Say what? Two thousand bucks? Running for hey. president. Hey! Got it? Yeah. You won't be running for president. You're crazy! Delaplan has this thing locked up. Well, in that case, I'll just mark you down here for a sizable wager. You still haven't told me. Who's Tom Whalen? How you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Why'd you set me up? I'll set you up? What do you mean set Why'd you up? Why'd you want me to run for president? Calm down, will you? Some people consider that a compliment. Jeez. Rick, Rick, come here. I want you to meet my partner, Tom Whalen. Why don't you get out of here? Why'd you set me up? I hope you're happy. You just blew us a vote. Right, really? All right, man. Look, I owe Hoagie Delaplant two grand. I figure I'd run you as a long shot and make up the money bet in the election. That is the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. Hey, maybe I didn't think it through all the way. Oh, man, I was desperate. Not to mention stupid. I'm sorry. I just don't want to end up like Mr. LaForce. Who's LaForce? English teacher. Ended up in the hospital. Did he owe Delaplan money? I bet on him. He stuck a gun in my ear. <laughs> the man stuck a gun in my ear. That maniac, Davy Miller, it should have been in his ear. So... Counting Miller's 2,000, Hogarth has covered loans of 12,500 that we know of, right? The man stuck a gun inside my ear. Would you relax, Hanson? He didn't pull the trigger. Oh, well, yeah, there's always a bright side, huh? So let's raise the stakes. Let's see if Hogarth can come up with, say, 40 or 50 grand. Does he turn down the loan or bring his old man in? Now, how am I going to make him believe that I need 50 grand? You're not. You're going to make him believe I need 50 grand. That? Yeah, Mr. Reardon's here. Oh, okay. 
Hey, Tony, you better watch it. This kid's gonna be able to take you in a couple of years. <laughs> oh, yeah? And you right now. Oh, this one's not a fighter. You're looking at the very next senior class president standing right here. Huh? <laughs> no kidding. That's great. Listen, um, Tony, I think we're looking at a possible problem with Peter's son. Please. Uh, Hoagie, yeah, we're going to talk some business. Give us a couple of minutes, would you? Well, wait, if there's a problem, maybe I can help. Times, I got to tell you, my business is my business. Now go do your homework. One. <laughs> See that, kid? Hey, close the door, Ogie. Way to go, man. You got my vote. Tell me what you did this I took the liberty of masterminding the campaign here for you. You want to get hurt? Hey, don't write this off so fast. I mean, being president is not such a bad deal, even at this school. What we got? We got instant status. Colleges love it. And, well, you know, women love power. I can't deal with this now. That's what you got me for. Hey, ran into some of your friends yesterday. When I'm stuck a gun in my ear. Now, maybe I'm kind of sensitive, you know, but uh, I didn't really think it was too funny. Sounds like a personal problem to me. Politics aren't for everyone, you know. Hey, man, somebody's towing your car. What? Somebody's towing your car. Wait, it's going. Hey, 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 that's my car. Hey, hey, that's my car. What? Well, the bank says you haven't made any payment in six months. Come on, it's got to be some kind of mistake here. Let me call, okay? You're my guest, mister. Hey, wait! Six months of overdue payments, your credit card's over the limit, you're short on cash. I know the symptoms, my friend. You need money. Maybe I can help. I doubt it. Man, don't be so sure. Do you lend money? Sometimes. Only if I drop out of the race, right? Look, this presidency means a lot more to me than it does to you. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll make you a good deal. Forget it. Hey, Jude, where's Penhall been all day? Called in sick. Must be teething. Yeah. Hey, Hanson! Time to put on your makeup. So what's he gonna do, adopt that kid? No, but I think he's trying to cut a deal on the mother. Uh, let's see. I must be a 20-footer. 25. Ah, <laughs> uh, you son of a... <laughs> you like that game? We're gonna have to teach it to your mother. Don't hang up. I'm still here. What? Wait. Uh, Hi, I'm not uh, home right now. Uh, so leave your message. Just wait here, okay? Douglas. Well, wait right there. Douglas, are you there? Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, come listen. on, Mom's on the phone. I can't get back to town tonight. I'm come sure on. you've heard about the thunderstorms. Just calm down. I just really down. hate to put you in this kind of position, oh, uh, but what can I do? What baby? What baby? Oh, God. I, God, I wish you were there. Let go. I hate leaving okay. a message like this on one of these machines. What can I say? You are a darling. You're a sweetheart. I'll never forget you for the rest of my life. Oh, you're so So anyway, I hope you and Hannah are having fun, and I'll see you later. Bye. Julie, don't hang up. Here, play with this. Forget you for the rest of my life for this. So anyway, I hope you and Hannah are having fun. <laughs> 
What happened to you? Let's just say I bounced a check. I was a runner for this guy, Bill Frazier. A couple of dealers from Chicago floated in two keys to use as a down payment on opening a club. What kind of club? <laughs> well, it didn't really matter as long as there was a back room and a lock on the door. I set up the deal. So that's right, you're not the only guy in school with some action. Well, it sounds like things didn't work out. Yeah. And the moral of the story is, don't make drug deals in high-rise hotels unless you like hanging upside down from the 32nd floor. Yeah, excuse me, fellas. I left a sport page. Here it is. Hoagie, put your hand it to me, please. Uh, Dad, this is Tom Whelan. You remember him from the game show? Yeah. What happened? He looks like a couple of guys from the losing side jump you. <laughs> Something like that, Mr. Delaplante. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to hear that you're getting in trouble, Hoagie. You understand? I'm just talking, Dad. Dad? Yeah. Did you get the door? Yeah. Look, maybe we should do this someplace else. Look, this is where I conduct my business. Okay. The bottom line is if Frazier doesn't deliver 50 grand to these guys by five tomorrow, we're both gonna end up missing the Scholastic Bowl on television. Know what I mean? Yeah, all right. Who do I talk numbers with? Frazier. But we need 50 grand by tomorrow. I'll see what I can do. Dad? Yeah? We need to talk. Yeah, sure. Sit down. What's on your mind, Hoagie? <clears throat> I just agreed to loan Tom Whalen and his partner $50,000. This is, uh, some kind of a joke, right? No, it's no joke. Look, I'd like to work on this with you. If you won't, I know where I can get the money. You know where you can get the money? What are you, what are you talking about? You know where you can get the Look, money? Look, you know where to get the money. I'm your son. Listen to me. You call this guy up, whoever he is, and you tell him this deal is off. You understand me? I can't. Hey! Hey! Hoagie! You will not be getting into my business. I've been in it for two years, Dad. Oh, yeah? Been in it? You've been in what? Lending money. Setting rates, enforcing deadlines. Dealing with delinquency. I'm stupid. You think I didn't know what was going on in all those backroom meetings? You think kids in school didn't tell me? You're supposed to be the smart one. I am smart. So let me work with you. No! Look, I can go out on the streets for this money. I know some people. I, I know some old friends of yours. I got no old friends, Hoagie. Oh, yeah, you do. If I give them your name, they'll lend me money. Listen. You listen to me. You miss a week with these guys, they beat you up real good. You miss two weeks, they bust your hand, they maybe take your thumb. You don't come up with the big, listen to me. You don't come up with the big, they find you floating in a royal drum in a harbor. So drop me the money then. No, I can't! You're my son. My son. Dick? Roger. Can I help you? Is Julie here? Yeah, sure. Come on in. Douglas. Hi. Roger, you remember Douglas Penhall from down the hall. That's right. I thought I recognized you. What can we do for you, Doug? 
Well, actually... Uh... Actually, Douglas called while you were in the shower. Would you mind getting him some bread from the kitchen? Yeah, I've got all this peanut butter and no place to put it. <laughs> I'll be right back. Sorry, Douglas, this must look awful. What? Finding your husband in your apartment? I know, but after everything I told you, he tracked me down and booked himself on my flight to Omaha. I was just so taken by surprise, and then during the storm we had all this time to talk. And you got along perfectly. I just feel we should try and work things out. Hey, every kid should have a pop, right? Here you go. Hey, thanks a lot. Ah, I got these two tickets to the ball game. The girl I was going to go with canceled out on me. So if you two crazy kids want to go, I, I'd be happy to sit with Hannah. I'd love, I'd love to go to a ball game. And you're sure? Sure, I'm sure. But you better hurry. The game starts at one. Huh. Really sweet of you. Uh, what sweet of me? Get out of here. Look, we'll uh, watch a little TV. We'll uh, play a little rattle. We'll pop open a can of cream spinach. We'll have a great time. <laughs> oh, it's really very nice of you, Doug. Thanks. Thanks. Honey. Thanks, Doug. Oh, you might need to change her. You need to be changed. Let's go see if we can find one of Roger's shirts. Hoagie Della plan. Is that the money? Yes, it is, Mr. Frazier. Okay, what are the terms? The loan is for $50,000. You'll be charged interest payments of $1,000 per week for the next 50 weeks. At that time, the full $50,000 becomes due and payable. Okay, let's do it. Guess what, Hope? You're under arrest. You don't have to thank me, man. It's okay. So, you're gonna take care of this, right? Now. Gonna get a lawyer or not? No, I'm not. What do you mean, no? You, you gotta bail me out of here. I don't think so. I don't understand. Hoagie. It's all part of the business. It's all part of the business. Tony, Tony. Almost got you this time, Tony. Oh, yeah? Well, you did get me. It was my money. Now, what makes me think that's going to be hard for me to prove? It won't be hard to prove. You got 18 years of proof sitting in that cell in there. Hmm? Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
So you're talking deal here. You do the time in exchange for letting Hoagie walk. No, no deal. I'll stand trial with my son. He's got to learn for himself. You see, if my father would have done the same thing for me, maybe, maybe I wouldn't be here now. You send him somewhere nice, huh? He's a good kid.